procedure can be performed while the motherboard is already in the chassis or with the motherboard removed. Both methods will be demonstrated. The main difference between the two is that working inside the chassis may be more cramped than when the motherboard is uninstalled. Be sure to follow ESD practices in either case, and gloves are recommended. If the motherboard is not yet installed, begin by taking it out of the tote or ESD bag. Place the board on a flat ESD safe surface, orienting it so that the socket load lever is to the left of the operator. Disengage the load lever by pinching the hook portion with your finger and thumb and pressing downward and out on the hook to clear the retention pad. Rotate the load lever fully to the open position of approximately 135 degrees. Then rotate the load plate to the fully open position of about 100 degrees. Pressing with your forefinger on the north side of the cap, remove the pick and place cap, also called the PMP cap or cover. Do not touch socket contact while doing this. Inspect the cap for any signs of damage. Now you will visually inspect the socket contact array on the motherboard by viewing at various angles, noting any changes in light patterns. Such a change may indicate damaged contacts. Also check for foreign material. Should either mechanical damage or foreign material be discovered, reject the motherboard. To remove the processor package from the tray stack, grasp the substrate corners with three fingers and lift straight up. Pin 1 and both key marks should be on the left. Remove the land side cover with the opposite hand by depressing the larger retention tab and then peeling it away from the processor package. Set the land side cover aside. Visually inspect the processor gold pads for the presence of foreign material or damage and reject the package if any is found. To insert the processor onto the motherboard, orient the package so that the integrated heat spreader is facing up. Pin 1 and locating key notches on the substrate must be oriented properly to match the corresponding socket features. A golden triangle indicates the location of pin 1. Carefully lower the processor into the motherboard socket in a vertical motion, ensuring that the package lines up with the corresponding key points on the socket. This ensures that pin 1 is inserted into the proper place. With the package seated, rotate the load plate onto the package integrated heat spreader. Engage the load lever to secure the load plate tab while pressing down lightly on the load plate. Secure the load lever under the retention tab. The motherboard can now be installed in the chassis. Installing the processor package into a completed chassis will require a little more dexterity on the operator's part due to the close quarters of the inside components. Follow the same steps demonstrated during the uninstalled motherboard procedure. Namely, disengage the load lever and rotate it 135 degrees, rotate the load plate 100 degrees, remove the PNP cap, and inspect the socket for damage or foreign material. Then remove the package from the tray. Take off the land side cover. Inspect the processor's gold pads for damage or foreign matter. Orient the processor package properly with the socket alignment features. And carefully insert the processor package into the motherboard socket, being sure to align the key notches and pin number one on the substrate with the corresponding locations on the motherboard. Finally, Rotate the load plate to the closed position and secure the load lever under the retention tab.